Hello and welcome, 24th of July. It's about midday. It's a bit cooler today than it has been in the past week or two. Time to get some work done. What's been going on today? So first job today was trimming the grass. Every two or three weeks in summer needs a strim, which is all right if your strimmer's working. Mine decided to pack up. And my loppers decided they weren't gonna lop effectively. Wouldn't close. I had to finish off the last bit with a pair of scissors. And then whilst I was doing that, I stepped in my ponds. Left leg in this one. Not too bad. Right leg. In that one. It didn't put me in a bad mood, but it certainly took the shine off the day. How could I cheer myself up? Dig up some bonus potatoes. So I'll start with my Christmas potatoes, planted last August or September time. I knew there was a risk planting them outside here of frost. They got hit by frost. I thought they died. They came back in the spring, starting to go brown. Can't remember what variety of potato they are, but I'm gonna dig them up, see what we've got. too bad considering I thought they'd all died. So a couple more bonus potatoes cropped up on this bit where I grew potatoes last year. So dig them up, see what we get there. That's all right. Dig. Dave. Dig. Dig, 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 dig. dig. As I grew Maris Piper and King Edwards here last year, these red potatoes are a bit of a surprise, but I'll take what I can get. There's another one back there. Let's see what that is. And another one there. Let's see what we dig up there. Now that makes more sense based on what was here last year. Not the biggest. <laughs> Not the best, <laughs> but they all add up. Right, I've got a couple of potato plants at the back. Let's have a look at them. So at the last of my first early potatoes, this is one I forgot to put in the ground, so let's put it in a pipe, in a rubble sack. I'll move that out of the way, we'll empty that out in a minute, and then there is a potato in there that's just cropped up from the old compost heap. That was a big plant, we'll see what's going on there. All right, for free, add them to the pot. And lastly, we've got the potatoes in a rubble sack. Should be less digging with this, more case of just tipping out. Good luck. All right, but nowhere near as good as the ones had in the open ground, but 
These had less room. There were more in the shed. Still, quite the other ones. Add them to the pots. I do have some bonus garlic that I'm gonna have a look at. When I dug up the garlic last year, there was a few that had gone rotten. So I just buried them in a corner. They have grown and they have gone brown, the leaves. So I dig them up, see what we get. So like I said, these were just seemingly rotten garlic that I harvested last year. Just dumped them in a corner and they've grown. That is my best bonus yet. Pleased with that. So what else is happening? It's time to release the cabbages from the chicken wire cage. Time for them to spread out a bit. Um, whether I'll regret that if they get attacked by more pests or not, we will see. Time to unfell the cabbages. Never grown cabbages before. Maybe I should have kept them protected, but uh, we will see. We will see. Next, I'm gonna stake my tomatoes. I've got 12 plants out here of different varieties. These were the smallest plants who didn't make it into the greenhouse. They're just leaning over slightly. A stake can't harm, can it? Let's have a before and after. So I think that looks a bit neater. They look a bit weird now, just sort of out on their own, but they were planted among four rows of onions till a couple of weeks back, so I picked all the onions. So they're a bit sort of weirdly spaced. Um, there's flowers on a few. They're, they're more compact than the other tomatoes I've got, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So we should get some tomatoes from them. They're, they're exposed to the elements. And we're in the north of England, so anything we get is good. And now for the Aubergines. I've got some more at home. I've got maybe five or six left at home. They all grew fairly well, produced leaves, but then they kind of paused. They're not producing flowers or fruit. The ones at home are in slightly bigger pots. Bearing in mind the squash and sweet corn and pumpkins you see here. We're in a right state two or three weeks ago when they're in pots. Brought them out here. They absolutely love the soil here. Come on no end. So I'm going to put my aubergines into the ground. Keep it in the back of my mind. I am in the north of England. Aubergines like heat. I'm going to put them in the ground and provide some kind of protection around them. Like I have done with my peppers and chilies at the back. So hopefully they'll be able to enjoy this soil have protection, maybe get a bit more sunlight, give it a go, spreading my risk. I've still got a few left at home. These here, get them in the ground, keep your fingers crossed. Bear in mind, no one said it was going to look pretty. Let's have a closer look. Functional, hopefully windproof. Maybe not pleasing to the eye, 
hopefully it'll be pleasing for the plants. Let's give them a water, keep our fingers crossed. So that's it then, my bonus items this week. Not too bad. I'm gonna pick some raspberries, pluck a couple of beetroot, go home and dry my legs. Right, thank you for watching. Click subscribe, send me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.